yo, what's up? Bubble top, bubble top. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's bubble top. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how I feel. Uh, that's how you feel. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I don't know what Danny Green is scared of, man. Bro, I don't know. LeBron says it's gonna be. I told you it's gonna be his hardest title, man. I think he's right. I don't know, man. They just don't shoot well. Like I said, that's their whole problem, man. And then they stop having shoot arounds. So why would you hop having shoot arounds before the game and you don't shoot well? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, I don't understand that. Y'all, y'all are not good shooters to begin with. So I don't even understand why that's a good idea. I don't know, man. I really think uh, the coach lost this game for us. Yeah, I don't know, bro. And uh, like I said, LeBron needs to score 30 points instead of his 20. He can't score 20 points and y'all win. He got to score 30. AD got to score 30. And just like I said, but uh, he's still trying to assist the people who can't play mm-hmm. or can't shoot. I mean, he has to. He has to play better, and he has to score, man. This is why I've always said this about LeBron. Um, if you need to score 40 points, he can't exactly get you the 40 you need. If it was Jordan, Jordan would score that 40 to win. And he has. That's the difference. And that's why I say LeBron is good, but he ain't the GOAT. Because if he needed to win that game, he should have scored 40, 15, and 15. Yeah. And but, this is this I is mean, his biggest problem. True, you know your people can't hit the shot. You got to do it. You're the only one that can. No. This is LeBron's problem. He can get you to 40. He can get you to 50. But he is too involved in this stat stacking that he will try to get get these uh, rebounds or he'll try to get these assists instead of scoring. And, and nigga, we in a game. We in a win or go home game, man. I know. That's a, and that's what I'm saying. What he's told, that's what, you're exactly right. And that's what I'm trying to say about him. Dude, why are you trying to get 15 assists, nigga, when you need 40 points? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you should be trying to score the ball every time down the court, man. You're trying to get people involved who can't get involved. They can only do what they can do. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving. You know what I'm saying? You got one other player who's going to be able to talk in for you on a consistent basis, and that's AD. Man, I'm mad. And like I said, AD's not a closer. Look how he plays, man, off and on. Suspect. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm mad like, they ain't put D.R. Waiters in or J.R. Smith. You said you mad they put him in? They didn't. They only put D.R. Waiters in for like one minute. Yeah, they need to stop playing that bum-ass Caruso. Man, they need to he stop playing Cotwell Pope. Oh, man, they need to listen, man. That's what I'm saying. They threw together a team, thought they were something. You know what I mean? The continuity, team's chemistry, they just I lost it all. I mean, was Avery Bradley that important? I mean, it makes you think. Like, dang. I mean, was he the MVP of the team? Yes, he was. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Like, damn, y'all falling apart. Like, how was y'all number one in the league? Seriously, how did y'all win 50 games playing like that? Avery Bradley was key to their defense. Their defense ain't hype enough. Their defense is just there. Avery Bradley mm-hmm. had that killer defense, killer instinct defense. Oh, oh, right, exactly. That's what I told you. McCullen and, and Dame, oh, excuse me, Dame Willard are going to have a field day because the the backcourts are just, you know what I mean, the guard players try. Yeah, they are not guarding that three line good. No, they're not. It, You're guarding the paint, and the team is shooting you down with threes. <laughs> and I guess, I think they're going to win today, but then again, depending on what team shows up, man. I mean, if LeBron scores 40 and, and AD scores 40, then yeah, or 30, you guys are going to win. If LeBron decides, once again, that he wants to stuff the stat sheet, I'm, I'm telling you, man, that's his biggest problem, bro. Like, you got to know when it's time to go. You know what I'm saying? If you're the leader of the team, I play basketball. I was the leading scorer on my high school basketball team. If it was time to go, I knew it was upon me to, to take off. You know what I mean? I knew mm-hmm. the team needed me to make the plays. Not me assist the ball. No, I need to put the ball in the basket. So if I, when I was playing, and I'm just going to take you, this is at a high school level. When I was playing, like I said, I was the lead scorer on my team from my uh, sophomore year to my senior year. It took when the game was on the line, and I needed to get buckets. I didn't pass the ball to my team. Um, excuse me, to my teammate. I shot the ball. Mm-hmm. I took over the game. That's what you have to do. If you're the scorer and you're the guy and you're the alpha male and you're the dog, you need to take over. Period. Yeah. No questions asked. Yeah, but like I told you, I'm an avid LeBron James watcher, and nigga, this is what it really is. That nigga is scared to drive it because of white side. Last time, what was he? He was so, he was in Cleveland. Yeah, he blocked his shot three times. Yeah, he was throwing his stuff. No, he's done that before. 
That's what, and, and he still got it. <laughs> he ran up against the monster that he was scared of. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. He's in trouble. Because LeBron James ain't driving, y'all not winning. And that's point blank, period. That's his game. Yeah. That's his game. You don't have a mid-range jumper. He has to either drive or shoot that long three. That's all he does. Man, he period. has to use his head a lot more and, and uh, pump fake and other stuff with Whiteside because you can get him in foul trouble, but it's like you just keep on coming with the same the same straight-on drive. Whiteside is waiting for all of that. I, uh, yeah, I just... I mean, LeBron is 34, man. I don't know, dude. This is, listen, I love LeBron, and I'm not saying he's not one of the greatest ever, but this is exactly why I can't give him the top seed, man. This is exactly my point. These right now, this this is right here. That that right there, that's exactly my point, man. That's exactly my point. If you're the best and you're the GOAT, you got to find a way to win. You got to find a way to change your game. Think about this. LeBron's been in the league 17 years. He still missed two free throws. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Bro, like you, not, you don't practice shooting free throws ever? If that's the Achilles heel in your game, man, you need to be shooting free throws every damn day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah, you not, deep, what I'm saying? not deep threes. Not deep threes, not, not no. uh, <laughs> dunks not and layups. Threes, but the free throws that give you, the, the, you know, now you miss two, you always miss the free throws. Now you down at 66% shooting. Come on, bro. How you call yourself the greatest and you can't master a free throw? There's kids that shoot 80%. Come on, man. I just, I love LeBron. And I think he is one of the greatest. But, man, he is definitely not, definitely not. I mean, he has too many flaws. Too many, and he's been in the league too long not to have worked on it, not to have a mid range game, not to have a post up, a real post up game. You know what I mean? You big. Mm-hmm. And let's not have a team posting up guards. So, I mean, it just, I don't know, man. But like I told like I said, you, he has to have the ball in his hand. He won't play a power forward position. Slowly, as he, you know, he has to be, he, he's not great without the ball. It's just, he just, dude, he, he has to step up and score. Listen, me and you both know, he has to score, period. That's it. Bottom line. Bottom line. Mm-hmm. Every game he got a score, man. Bottom line. But like I That's told, it. but like I told all yeah, Dwight Howard is the big key to this series. If he could stay out of foul trouble, Dwight Howard ain't never been able to stay out of foul trouble. Dang. It's all weird. <laughs> I mean, seriously, bro. Like you know what I mean? Like he just plays that way. You know what I mean? He's aggressive. He pushes. He shoves. He blocks. They need he that. Old, Look, old they shoes, need that. Man. They need that down there. Yeah, they do. But they need LeBron to shoot the daggone basketball. Yeah. Damn. Come on, LeBron. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If LeBron had a mid-range game, you know how good he'd be? He would be the greatest of all time. Uh-huh. Cause because Jordan, he, he Jordan was, had he, that. He, uh, huh? Jordan did have that. Like, if you're going to block exactly. all my shots up at the rim, watch me right. come out here and just but, pop but you look, to death. But look, but look, Jordan didn't start out with a mid-range game. Remember? He came in just like LeBron, flying to the rim and dunking. Remember that? Uh-huh. 88, 89. Remember? That's all he did. Okay? All he did. But he practices. This is exactly what I'm talking about, man. He knew what he could do that would get, get him an open bucket, and he practiced it so much that he became a master at it. That's the difference. Man. You see what I'm saying? The elevation of his game. LeBron's game hasn't elevated very much since he was a rookie. I mean, he shoots the three better. Don't get me wrong. Well, he shoots better. I can't agree with. I can't agree with that. His game is definitely I'm elevating. His game has developed, but not in the shooting sense. But the fact that he does shoot slightly better, but not in the fact that his ability to make certain shots mid range. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That type thing. And he ain't he ain't free throws. He should be bro, you know how many free throws he probably shot now? Close to a billion free throws, man. And he shoots sixty six percent. I mean So 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 they they definitely let me down. I just said that they definitely let me yeah, down. Yeah. So we go yeah. move on to somebody else that I know is going to be a superstar, and that's Luka Donick. It looked like Kawhi Leonard and Paul George might not even make it. Nah, one, nah they going to make it. I, I'm less concerned about them than I am about L.A. I mean, man, I'm trying to tell the they you only mean? they only won that game because y'all losing to the A.C. They only lost that game because dude got put out. Porzingis got put out in foul trouble. That's the only reason they won game one. They'll be down 2-0 to o if Porzingis didn't get put out that game. It looked like Dallas has uh, the Clippers numbers. Luka Doncic looks good, man. Him and I. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, Luka Doncic looks real good, man. Him and Porzingis. Yeah. So, uh, they're not going to beat the Clippers. As good as they look, they're not going to beat the Clippers. Now, I'm not doubting the Clippers because Paul George and Kawhi can play. Or, yeah, but they, they have, have the problems that the Lakers got. So. 
when you have somebody's number, like Whiteside got to LeBron, it just slows you down. Yes. And that's what I fear about the Clippers not making it, is because they have Paul George and Kawhi's number, and it's slowing them down. And then, Don't plus, they got Paul a... Paul George, no. Luka. Uh, the Clippers are, listen, the Clippers are 5-1 and one versus them this year. That game that they won yesterday was the first time they beat them. I'm not too worried about that. They're 5-1 and one versus the Dallas Mavericks. So we can move on to the next next team. <laughs> I mean, damn, they are NBA players. I hope you can get one win. I mean, out of five ga- six games, come on now. Let's now be different. They were beating them during regular season. They beat them, but they don't beat them. Man, like they won one game. It was the first game they beat them this year out of six tries, five tries, six tries. Man, Luka <sighs> Donnie. We'll talk about Luka Donnie. <laughs> what I want to talk about is how Luka go take them out, man, before they could even see the Lakers. Hell, the well, Lakers might not even be. <laughs> Both like teams said, we I expect had, them. If I had a level, of cons- a level of concern, my level of concern is the Clippers is right around 10%. My level of concern with LA is right around 50 So, I mean, those are two different. I know they got players that can help, and they're playing. I know the Lakers have two players. If it's all on them, it's a wrap. They got to be Superman for 40 minutes. Yep. Or out. You know what I mean? Like, they got to be <laughs> Goku for two hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. I got to be the most supreme being in the world to win every game. So, we'll see what they do. And they playing against the hottest team in the bubble, the Blazers. I mean, yeah, I don't know yeah. if they was the hottest because I do believe the Suns was the hottest. Well, yeah, the Suns were the hottest, but the Blazers were right there. I mean, geez, they, they playing against play the second. In. They playing against the second hottest though. Yeah, they had to play to get in. So, but what do you think yeah, about? The, uh, what do you think about, man? What, what about your Nuggets, man? They went down last night. The Nuggets went down. I, the Nuggets are okay. I don't listen. The Nuggets and Jazz, they're just playing for us. I mean, I don't think any of these teams are very are that good. They're, they're going to go back and forth. That probably goes seven games. The team that I think everyone is slipping on is the Celtics. Yeah. Man, they look good. Listen, out of all the teams in this, that's playing right now, man, the Celtics look good. Yeah, they definitely look they look a lot greater. And look they definitely look real good without Ben Simmons. <laughs> yeah. They look they they look good. So I mean, we'll see what they do. But uh-huh. they definitely look good, man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But before we get out of here, we will need to know what you think about your Pacers today. Uh I think they'll take the game. Out if Victor plays, I don't know what's up with him. They miss the bonus. And Miles Turner is trash. Somebody said he hit his uh he hit his knee, Victor Oladipo. No, he, no, he got poked in the eye. Yeah, but somebody he said they the they said it poke in the eye, but they said they seen him hit his knee. No, nah, it ain't his knee. His eye was the problem. I don't know who said that, but they don't know what they're talking about. Cuz, like, cuz, uh. <laughs> yeah, he don't know what he's talking about. Super busy up there. <laughs> yeah, uh, 7106 Short Terrace Drive in Indianapolis, Indiana. Come check us out. KEL Fitness. Get fit today, Indy. All, All right. right, my brother. All right.